Hi, YouTubers! Hi, YouTubers! It's Phoenix Talon and Sun Raiden, and today we're going to show you a new no. game. Oh, Phoenix is upstairs. Yeah, Phoenix is upstairs, so we're not going to introduce Phoenix, okay? Okay. Okay, but we are going to introduce our new game. Now, people have been wondering what I've been doing lately and saying, why aren't you making videos? And, well, my answer to them is, well, I've been working on something. And without belaboring the point, let's just jump right into it. So here we've got this neat little window that we can move around. We can resize in a little bit. And we can go ahead and select a car. So let's go ahead and select car number one. We don't want to use it as AI. We do want to watch it. We will hide the I mouse cursor. Uh, the green one? Well, the green one has a texture problem right now, so we're going to use uh, car one, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll start the race, and we'll wait for it to load. There it is. And hopefully you should be hearing sounds right now. And there we go. The race begins. And now what this is, is this is a hover car race, and uh, it works on physics. So what happens is that if I want to go in a certain direction I have to thrust in that direction as I uh, you know I have to turn right so it's kinda of like drifting but on an extreme level also I have a boost so I'll go ahead and use that right now see the boost right there and what the boost allows me to do on turns is it helps give me that extra little bit see so uh, right here I'll use the boost so I don't hit the wall for example Okay, I also have a brake so I can slow way down. I've slowed way too much on that one. And like I said, I got right and left. And then also if I stop, you can see I've got uh, lateral side to side strafing. So I can go that way too. I can also go backwards, but uh, you know, backwards is, you know, nobody wants to go backwards. All right, so I'll slow down on this uh, corner here a little bit. There we go. And uh, we're just going to race around a little bit here. And uh, you've already seen me hit something. And I, I don't really want to get stuck in this tunnel hitting things. So we'll go ahead and, and go around. Now, uh, you might notice that, you know, the track is not the best in the world. Uh, yeah, the texture is not perfect. The, the mesh is not perfect. I mean, there's a lot of things. This game is by no means anywhere near complete. Uh, uh, you know, in, in uh, any kind of completion, I mean, it, it's totally, totally, uh, you know, not even alpha, <laughs> not even close. Uh, this is like pre-alpha, if there's such a thing. <laughs> you, know, so you just call that in, in the works. So, uh, uh, but it, it's, you know, so far it's a lot of fun to play, and, and right now I'm racing alone, so. Um, actually, you know what, let me go ahead and crash, and then you'll get to see it blow up, see what it does. Uh, I've got uh, boost power, which you see getting drained occasionally, and then shield power, which now you see getting drained. When it turns orange, that means I'm about ready to die. Oh, there it goes, <laughs> and boom. And then you go ahead and you just, uh, you know, you die. You hit R to restart, and it'll bring you back to the main menu. All right, so um, let's go ahead, and uh, my son was saying, let's see the green one, so we'll go ahead and race as the green one. We'll go ahead and... Uh, actually, we'll use that as AI, um, and we'll go ahead and race the green one, and um, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about about the texturing problem. I can also unhide the mouse cursor if I want, but I have it defaulted to hide, so we'll leave it that way, because uh, I, I don't like the mouse flying all over the place. All right, so here's the green car, and as you can see, we're about to race this car, so I'm going to let it pull forward a little bit so you can see how the AI performs. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I got a lot of tweaking to do still uh, on the, the track itself, but it, it does all right. I mean, you know, for a drifting race. Most uh, race AIs that are out there are built around, um, you know, an actual track, and so I had to kind of program my own uh, AI for this, uh, but the pathfinding is... is uh, I tried it with my own, but I needed something more curvy, so I had to borrow from somebody. Uh, anyway, gosh, I can't drive this thing. Anyway, the texturing problem, as you've noticed, is when I was hitting with the other car, the shield would flicker, and on this one it does not, 
because the flickering, now you can see it, is on inside, which I don't know why that works. Again, this is, uh, this is not my car. Uh, this is one that I have uh, gotten off the Unity store for free. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't want to go over this too much. Let's go ahead and I think there's water, uh, a cliff at the end of this one. We'll see what happens when I jump off the cliff here. Let's go full throttle and... Oh, come on, get over, get over. Oh, come on. You know, you can never fly off the cliff when you want to, right? That's how it always works. There we go. And boom! <laughs> Uh, I love it. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and restart there. Um, let's go ahead and watch the cars race against each other. Uh, that's always a lot of fun. And uh, we'll go ahead and talk about it as they're going. Uh, car three, probably the green. Well, we haven't watched the red one. The red one has a little issue right now with its uh, pitch angle uh, correction. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set each one of the cars to be uh, different for their pitch angle correction. Now you see how... Oh, oh, we just lost the green car. <laughs> We're going to lose the red car soon too. See, as your shield gets lower, your shield turns red. And then it, it stays that way until it recharges. So even though we don't have any indicators for the AI cars, um, the, uh, uh, we can always tell if one of them is about to die because of that. Uh, here's one of the pitch angle problems I was telling you about. You see that bouncing? Yeah, see that's no good. We can't have that, so I'm gonna fix that later. I already know what's causing it. I just haven't, I haven't had a chance to get in there and, and tweak it yet. Um, but yeah, I mean it, it's it drives pretty good. Other than that, uh, you know I, I like the pathfinding abilities that it has. Um, uh, I like that it can you know uh, operate. Uh, autonomously and I don't have to sit here and go oh no it's gonna do this or that you know I, I already know what my issues are with the AI pathing and I can fix them so I'm not too worried about it uh, and as far as everything else goes I mean it's pretty standard uh, the GUI that's up in the corner uh, if it's actually a real racer will pull from the race car information but for the AI cars we don't really care what they're doing so you know it doesn't pull from it uh, the same with the gimbal in the lower right corner it'll be there for the actual race car and that, and that probably won't even make it to the to the final build I don't really like having a gimbal I like having the uh, the little icons in the uh, upper left a lot better um, although hey you know if people like the gimbal maybe I'll leave it in there uh, as you see the race timer has a little issue with it uh, just bouncing all over the place because of the digits I'm going to change that probably to something more graphical later um, but other than that you know it'll go ahead and keep time for the races or for the lap time and the race time I'll have a timer for all of it um, yeah I mean there's there's going to be a lot to this game eventually but for now I'm just kind of modeling the, uh, the idea of a hover race to see if physics-based racing is uh, even feasible and as you can see it's very feasible it is uh, uh, it works very well other than you know bouncing off the walls occasionally <laughs> but uh, yeah I mean it works great and I'd be interested to hear what people think about it uh, I've been working on this this game for quite a while now actually um, probably off and on for I don't know about a year or so and um, I've come up with this so far. I, I've been working on other stuff, as everybody knows. Um, but this is this is one that's always been kind of on the back burner. Uh, this and my space game. But uh, I, I think this one's probably going to be done before that one. <laughs> uh, I'd be interested to hear what people have to think. Uh, I, I'd be interested to, to hear from maybe potential uh, modelers that would like to donate some cars. Because that's what I'm really, uh, that's what I really need right now. Is uh, I need cars. I need cars to, to race, and um, you know uh, I can't afford the uh, the cars that are out there. You know what I mean? And I'm not a graphic modeler. The the ones that I've built, I've been using a uh, spaceship creation kit <laughs> and just building cars out of them. It's pretty funny. And then that green car that you saw already blow up. 
um, that was a free model that was on Unity. And um, if the uh, author, the developer of that car can get the uh, textures fixed on it, then I'm going to go ahead and get all those cars too, and I'll, I'll pay for those. But uh, yeah, there it is. Um, one complete lap down. There you go. So it takes the AI about four minutes to make a lap. And uh, there you go. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and end the race. I think we've gotten a, kind of the point across. And uh, I, I just, uh, before I go, uh, I'll talk about this menu a little bit. Um, I can select any one of these cars, and uh, I can select multiple of them. So I can race all the same car, or I can race none car. I, it doesn't matter. Whoops! It doesn't matter which slot it's in. It will default to watch whatever car is selected, um, and I can't unwatch it. Uh, that's a that's kind of a safety feature for the game, uh, the way it's programmed. Uh, I can use that car as an AI if I want. I I can't use a car as an AI that doesn't exist, nor can I use it as a camera. Um, I can select another car. And whatever car is not an AI, it will automatically default to watch because it's assuming that you want to watch the car that you're playing. If you have two cars that are not AI, then it will not default to either car. See, um, you know, you can select uh, the car to be AI. If you select all three to be AI, you have to select only one camera. See, notice I can't start the race right now because I have two cameras selected. See, so now I can start the race. Okay, so, um, you know, it's got some interesting little forcible type things going on here for the menu. And uh, I, I just kind of wanted to show that off a little bit, too. It, it's kind of a safety feature. And the way it's programmed, I can add any number of cars here as long as I have a, uh, a start point on the track. And right now I only have three start points on the track, so that's why there's only three cars being raced here. Okay, uh, so that'll be it. Uh, thank you for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, thank you for, for watching my game as yet untitled. Uh, still looking for a title for it. Uh, still thinking about it. Um, and there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Peace.